one, two, three. Just want to see if things are working. Um, hey, y'all. Uh, HH Blue Dynamite. The number two has been blue, as I'm thinking about calling myself now. Um, and here's my first attempt at doing a let's play, so this is more like a test run, if anything, of a Pokemon fan game called Phoenix Rising. Uh, and from my understanding that this game isn't complete, in fact, I think there's it's an episodic sort of deal, so I'm not sure how this is going to play out. But we will see. Uh, let me check out the options for a moment. I'm choosing Fahrenheit because that's just how I remember. I don't do Celsius. <laughs> Let's see, audio. Okay, that's good. So that way it's not too loud or anything like that. Uh, okay, so everything looks grand. Let's start with the adventure. New game. We're not doing Nuzlocke. We are not doing that. And yes, this is... Uh... It's free. They, they, you don't need any money for it if you want to play this for yourself. So it's just nice to see that they're just doing this out of passion. Ooh. Still sounds kind of loud. Good morning. I have some last minute documents I need you to complete for Trinita University. Trinita. Okay. I'm still used as a mouthpiece for the school since I completed my studies there all those years ago. First, they need you to create an avatar. Just create one that best expresses your personal style. By the way, I'm not doing different voices. I'm not really good when it comes to that. Or not confident enough. Sometimes I like to play the boy character just cause. But I'm gonna do a girl. Yes. Great, that should be f do fine, but next I need you to input your name here. I think I'm just gonna stick with like the names that's given here. Like this is like, say like this is the name for this character like Lucas is for the male character in Diamond and Pearl. And speaking of which, that's part of the reason why I want to do this is because apparently there's going to be remakes for the Diamond and Pearl, and those are my favorite generations of Pokemon. So, this is more like a celebration of sorts. So, Arya. Sounds pretty. Thank you for indulging me, Arya. I bet you're looking forward to your adventure. Be sure to stop by my lab before you skip town. I have something you'll want to see. Ciao. Ciao! Wait, what's the professor's name again? I forgot that the, uh, the... I, can, I forgot her name. <laughs> Another thing I know is that there's something about, like, relic Pokemon. And there's mega evolutions for certain Pokemon that we wish had mega evolutions. Among them being Flygon. Awesome! It's pretty, to say the least. I don't know the story in this. Like, it's one of those things that's like... There's a deep story going on. It's one of those fan games, like uh, Pokemon Rejuvenation, Reborn, Desolation, uh, Insurgents. 
Which, those are games I would like to play on this channel, too. But I just want to see how this would play out. And I hope you can hear me, because... I have, like, limited items. What's up, Gandalf? Hathorn Woods. Have I ever told you why I live in Hawthorne Ward Woods, Arya? Most assume, I think, that I long for a natural setting. To be one with a nat nature. Ugh. Certainly the Pokemon here are kind, and the flora is magnificent, yes? I even admit my cooking has greatly improved since I began my hermitage. Yeah, because you're only cooking for one person. And I guess at the other Pokemon too, I guess. I don't know. But I will not live away from society for a pretty view. That would be silly. No, I live here because I find it pure. Out here, I am able to reflect on my life, to think more clearly than I ever have. When I was your age, I finding a thinking place was simple, a quiet place. That's not true anymore, yes? Now the world is very, very complicated. Indeed. This is good to keep in mind. Find a quiet spot to call your own. Think there. Allow yourself the time to think on your life, your circumstances. For you see, Arya, it is when one realizes... It's when one thinks that one realizes. Not all is right with the world. And that's kind of true. And, oh, what a windbag I am. Come, let us have our tea before you depart. It looks like his beard is, like, coiled around him. New quest. A lesson in destiny. Press the X key to open your menu. New tutorial has been registered. Well, that's cool. Let's go ahead and save. Yes, Arya. Um... I'm gonna do something about the, uh... About the sound again, because... Again, this is just... Me want to make sure... Is... Can be heard. At least what I'm saying, at least. Um, so this is, like I said, this is just more like a test run. Let's see what happens and all that. Uh, 12, dang, 12 a.m.? Uh, mm, something's not right about that. <laughs> Why would this be 12 a.m.? Uh, 59 Fahrenheit, sunny. Mm, decent. That's decent weather. I think that's the kind of weather we're experiencing now, where I am at right now. Pretty decent weather with all... There's been nothing but rain on my side of the globe. Oh, it's 70 degrees over here. Okay, I mean... Yeah. And that thing about, like, being one with nature... In a way that makes sense. When... I was going through a rough time last year... Being outside actually helps. Just walking around their neighborhood, taking in the sights, like, be one with nature. It's healing. That I can understand. I'm not sure about, you know, being isolated. Usually that's a bad- well, he wasn't- he's not really isolated. He's, you know, talking to this character, this girl, so... Well, I say girl, it could be boy if the depends on what character you choose. But... Yeah, I just want to look around. That's a nice little, uh, effect there. I guess I can't move any further from here. Oh no. Am I stuck? Oh, okay. I'm not stuck. I don't know what it was. But, um... If you guys are experiencing lagging, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's just how this works, I guess. 
Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's very pretty here. You see that little light shine right there? Whatever. Fun fact, that's actually called God's Rays. I mean, can't think of a better name for that, I guess. <laughs> but, um, yeah, being one with nature, it's breathtaking, yeah. Um, because no matter what you believe in, no matter if you believe in creationism or evolutionism, since the very beginning, mankind has been one with nature. We're still animals in that sense. Come, come. I have a lovely tin of biscuits for you to try. Ooh. Biscuits. I could make up some weird noises. I know for a fact. <laughs> Let's go into Gandalf's hut. I'm not sure this guy actually has a name. I kind of forgot. Whoops. Meet the, the Soothsayer. Okay, he's called the Soothsayer. Arya, I'm so glad you decided to come over one last time. It warms an old man's heart, truly. And on such a momentous day... Off to Trinita University, and you're receiving your first Pokemon, yes? I'll turn on the kettle, Arya. Are you nervous about the events to come? You're in capable hands. I'm sure that the good doctor will give you the best of the lot. You know, Professor Lot Lotus, okay. Usually it's like named after trees. Um Rowan, Birch. Elm, Sycamore, Willow, Kukui, Oak, I almost forgot about that, oh, uh, who else, uh, oh man, Juniper, there we go, Juniper, so this is just like a flower, you know, Professor Lotus met me with me before her own journey to your school, Trinity University surely snaps up the best talents of the Hawthorne region. Isn't Hawthorne like a type of flower? The both of you, the prides of our little nocturne town. Although it's a different situation, what with your father and all. Ooh. What? Is it kind of go with the play that in a lot of Pokemon games, your dad's like basically missing? I mean, I'm legitimately thinking now, wait, well, except for, uh, except for Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald, because your dad, he is Norman, a gym leader Norman, so, other than that, go figure. <laughs> Where is it? This is, I guess, is in his thoughts. I'm sure you're excited to see him after so many years apart. And your mother's doing well. And your mother's doing well? Sad to see you go? Yeah, it looks- how perplexing, my bad. It looks like his beard is, like, coiled around him. <laughs> I can only imagine how he looks, like, in full figure. She's always been hardy, your mother. Never phased by a thing. Yeah, pretty much. That's how it goes with the with your mother in the uh in the games. But to have her only child about to depart from her home must be trying. Why when my own children took their leave from me, I I have some bad news, Arya. I think perhaps there is a possibility. I am out of tea. <laughs> oh, I'm embarrassed. I'm going dotty. Didn't even check my own stores. You know what? I imagine your mother has tea. Your father was a tea fanatic. Although I feel terrible asking this, could you run home and check with her? 
Without fail, a good cup of tea will calm your anxieties before this journey. You'll run over there, yes? You will? Wonderful. I'll be here waiting for your return. A lesson in destiny. Oh, okay. We visit the lab. Alright. I will actually stop the video right here. Um... Just so that way I have like a certain number, at least, I just, like I said, it's like a test run. I want to see how this goes. Virtually nothing really happened here, just me talking. But, again, I just want to like, test this out, see how it goes. Before I exit this out, let me, um, save. I'm not gonna even like say anything about that time there um so without any sort of like further ado I guess hope y'all have a great day and please stay tuned for more bye and I hope like tell me how you what you guys think about this whether on this video or on Twitter um so long. Bye.